In this video, we're going to solve exercise 1 in section 13 of Minecraft book. As always, if you're thinking about buying Minecraft, we have an affiliate link in the description of the video for you to buy the book and simultaneously support the channel. In this exercise, we're told that y is a subspace of x. When we read this sentence, we have to think two things. First, that we have a set x with a topology tau x and a subset of x, y, with its inherited topology. If you don't remember much about the subspace topology, then check out the video we have about that. We are given a subset of y called a, and we have to prove that the topology a inherits as a subspace of y is the same as the one it inherits as a subspace of x. So for this, let's call these two topologies that we can define on a with some name so that we can differentiate between them. The topology A will inherit from X, we will call it tau A X, and this we know from the subspace topology will be formed by all the sets A intersection U, where U is an open set in X, so U is in the X topology. And the topology that A inherits from Y will be the intersection of A with U. But now u are all elements in the y topology. And being in the y topology means that we can write u as y intersection b for some element b in the x topology. Because we are considering on y the topology that it inherited from x. So to prove that these two topologies are the same, we have to prove that the topology of x is a subset of the induced by y and also the reverse inclusion. So let's start with this one. Let's take an element in this topology and prove that it's also an element here. So let u be an element in the topology that A inherits from x. Given that this is the basis for this topology, we know that we can write u as A intersection v for some b in the x topology. All I'm doing is writing the definition of what is to have an element in the topology induced by x. Now what we want is to write u as an intersection of a with another element that is in the y topology. So what we can do is say that u, well we know that it's a intersection b. But now A is a subset of Y. So this means that A is equal to A intersection Y. So we can use this to write A as A intersection Y. And then we have the intersection B. And now I can just use basic set theory to write this as A intersection y intersection b. And we are done because y intersection b, b was an element in the x topology, so y intersection b is going to be in the topology of y induced by the topology on x. So I was able to write my set u as a intersection some element in the y topology. And so this is an element in the topology of a induced by y. And this is what we had to prove. Now let's try and prove the reverse inclusion. For this we will again take an element u, but now in the y topology, and we want to prove that u is in the x topology. So u, because it's in the topology of a induced by y, can be written as some set intersected with A, let's call it P, where P is in the Y topology, because now we're taking U in the topology of A induced by the topology in Y. But now P, being an element in the Y topology, means that P can be written as Y intersection O for some O in the X topology. 
So now let's put all these things together to prove that this element u is actually in the topology of a induced by x. u, I said it was a intersection b, and then I said that p was y intersection o. So we have a intersection y intersection o. Again, I can use basic set theory to write this as a intersection y intersection o. And a intersection y, because a is a subset of y, this is equal to a intersection o. And o was an element in the x topology. So I was able to write my element u in the topology of a induced by y as a intersection an element in the x topology. So this proves that this element is also in the topology of A induced by X and gives us the desired inclusion.